Are what? you auditioning for us right now? <laughs> Sounds uh, like somebody's angling for a part. In this I mean, if, if it can happen, please, please let me know. You don't have to call my agent. Just, just tell me. Just tell me directly. I'll do <laughs> well, we'll anything. We'll wait till the review comes out. How about that? <laughs> Watch your pass. Watch yeah. your pass. That's the, that, that is fair. David Stark from Watcher Pass. Today, I am so excited to be joined by the Broken Lizard crew, Kevin Heffernan, Steve LeMay, Jay Chandra Tassar, Paul Soder, and Eric Stolhans talking about Quasi, which is coming to Hulu on April 20th, 2023. We're going to talk to them right now. And while you're watching, if you can like and subscribe to this channel, that would be fantastic. Thank you, Meow. David Stark, Watcher Pass. Hey, hey. Oh, hello. Sort of begs a question, David, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, well, so that's, a, uh, that's a tough choice right there. I'm nervous. It, it is, it is. I mean, it, we'll have to wait for the review, but I think uh, you have a good shot. I think oh, 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 hey, look at this. Right. I knew I liked you. You got that mustache <laughs> going. Great mustache. Hey, I, you know, I, I, I grew it all for you. This, I was so excited for this, uh, this interview, so. <laughs> How long does um, it take you to grow that stash? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, it, it's, uh, it took like a month or so, you know, I have to kind of color it in just to make sure it's, it's all full. So Good, me too. Me too. I hear you. Yeah. yeah. All right. So today I am joined by Kevin Hepperton, Steve LeMay, Jay Chandra Sakar, Paul Soder, and Eric Stolhans of Broken Lizard fame talking about their quasi historical film, Quasi, which is, <laughs> there you go, there you go. Uh, which is coming to Hulu on April 20th, 2023. It is a ton of fun. It's a very funny movie. It is trademark Broken Lizard. So kind of know what to expect if you like their past work. You will love this film, and I'm so excited to talk to you. So thanks so much for joining me, Al. Thank you. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah. I heard that, Mal. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> do, I, do I look like a cat to you? <laughs> <laughs> I've got the stash. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Know, let's let's talk. Do I look like a cat to you? Are you what? auditioning for us right now? <laughs> Sounds uh, like somebody's angling for a part. In this I movie. mean, if, if it can happen, please, please let me know. You don't have to call my agent. Just, just tell me. Just tell me directly. I'll yeah, do well, anything. We'll wait till the review comes out. How about that? <laughs> Watch your pass. Watch your pass. That's the, that, that is fair. So, uh, you know, I guess to start this, we should probably start the traditional French way with Frère Jacques. Are we all ready to sing? Are we? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, Dormez-vous, 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 Perfect. I can tell you didn't even know the words. Yeah, it, it was uh, it was ad libbing. It's, it's it's acting, I believe, is what is what hey, you would call it. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, what is the word? It's um, it's improv. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Um, uh -huh. all right. So, what was the inspiration for this story? I don't know who to ask because everyone's listed as a writer. I guess maybe Kevin, since you were also Kevin. director. Who? Yeah. Uh, I mean, the inspiration of the story was a, a character that Lenny used to do. We, you know, we wrote the script many many years ago uh, uh, when we when we wrote Super Troopers and. Um, you know, Steve Lemmy was working, uh, we all had odd jobs. He was working in a record store. One of the guys he worked with was this kind of lonely guy who talked out of the side of his mouth. And Lemmy would imitate him. And uh, it would always be very funny. And we, we would kind of riff on it and think about, like, what the guy's life would be like and stories of him being a lovable loser. And we started building out this world. And, and we decided, you know, let's try this guy as a character. What can, situation can we put him into that would make it sad and we turned him into a hunchback, and then we put him in medieval France, and uh, you know it, it kind of grew from there. And so we started kind of writing this out, and you know at the same time we were a sketch group, and mm -hmm. you know we we uh, we uh, idolized Monty Python and 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 wanted to make movies like they did, and so we wrote we decided to write one like them, and uh, you know and so we we tried it with this one, and so it's been sitting around for a long time, uh, and luckily we've uh, we got the opportunity to make it uh, last year, so. That is fantastic. I love that it's been percolating for so long, you know, that uh, yeah. it's been kind of growing. And so is that why you are all listed as writers? Because everyone kind of like, like you said, it's kind of collaborative environment. Everyone kind of contributed to the overall story. Yeah, kind of, for all our movies, that's, that's how we like to credit it, because it really is a collaborative process. And, you know, we've been doing it together for so many years that, um, you know, to get down into like who wrote this and who wrote that, we don't really want to do that. It's kind of like a band, you know, here mm -hmm. we are. We wrote this. We wrote this thing together. So. That's awesome. And it also pumps up your IMDb, IMDb numbers. So that, that's good too, right? Like, uh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Sure. Um, but, uh, Kevin, you're the only director on this. You do not, is that also by design? You don't do like a, you don't want to do like a collaborative director. Maybe have everyone have a camera and see who shot was the best or. You need a boss. 
You can't have you can't have two people saying, oh, yeah, I think this, I think that. You just need one person to say, I understand what you all think, but this is what it's going to be. Okay. Yeah, it's that, kind of better to have a hierarchy. Yeah. We've discovered. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess if if you've got some very strong, funny personalities, it's tough to kind of pick yeah. who to who, who makes the call. So that makes perfect sense. Um, and I also loved how each of you played like very very different characters. Was there any rhyme or reason like Jay? Are you the most kingly? And um, <laughs> oh, like Paul, are you the yeah, most religious? Like <laughs> I'm say, definitely uh, the most kingly. Let's spoil blood. <laughs> Uh, I mean, did, was there any, did you just kind of like, as you were building out this world, you just kind of gravitated towards different roles or? Uh, you know, I don't, I mean, it's, it's, uh, I think, you know, we knew he was going to play the hunchback. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's because he's I the know. most attractive. So it's the toughest role for him correct. to play, correct? Correct. Cast, right? Now you like him, huh? <laughs> I thought I liked you before. And now I know. <laughs> you Super Troopers, great. There we go. Hell yeah. Uh, and it would go on about how handsome I am. Oh, yeah. It was just fantastic, fantastic portrayal by everyone, of course. Wait, we lost the mic. Hold on. Oh, the handsome gentleman. Oh, Hold no. on. It's a flattery scale on that one. Yeah. Flattery operator. Uh, that's their equivalent of like pulling, uh, you know, like the Oscars, like pulling someone off, like too much, too much. <laughs> yeah, they said played you out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just shut him down. Shut off his mic. Shut off his mic. That's like an Australian term. Stop pulling me off. Yeah, yeah, pull me yeah, off. Yeah, you pull me you, off. Testing, hey, we were still rolling, David. You can just continue. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, sir, so you were saying. I'm handsome. Go on. Very, very handsome, and I believe your your biceps and pecs probably popped that mic off. So uh, we can. <laughs> His glutes. Yeah. Like this guy. We can keep going. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I guess the other question I have is like, you all have been together for a long time, as you mentioned. It's a very collaborative process. You all know each other very well. Is it tough to bring like more people into kind of like the Broken Lizard family, or is it just so much fun that they just kind of like come in and and are part of the group? Like, I'm talking specifically about Adrian because he has a pretty large role as well in this film, but. You know, she clearly hasn't been with you for that for that long. So, how how is that process like? And and you know, are there any speed bumps along the way, or is it pretty seamless? Since uh, it seemed like a fun crew already. Yeah, yeah. I mean, people dig uh, uh, the idea of being getting to be part of a troop, and I think it it's it's a um, you know, it, I think it's a considerate group of guys who I think appreciate that 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 person it helps to make them feel welcome, make them feel comfortable. And I think so whoever it is, and especially in the case of Adrian, we do everything we can to get them feeling like part of the team. And then it allows them to just riff with us and bullshit with us and improvise with us and, and, and do all the things that we do. Because that person is always the best actor on the set. You know, like, <laughs> you bring like, a real actor. <laughs> well, we're here because yeah. like we write this stuff and we basically- Because yeah, you look good. That's why you're yeah, here. And you're you look that's why you're in the group. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> But like, you know, it's like we've basically forced our way into the industry because we could write and and put this stuff together. But everyone else we've worked with has had to audition and actually earn their their keep in the movie industry. So everybody we meet is a polished actor and they always, you know, they, they raise the level of our film. Give us some heft. Yeah. yeah. That makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. They, they... A rising tide, right? Rises all ships or something rises like that, right? Yeah. 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 There we go. So is there any, like, light hazing, though, when they come in? Or, because I imagine you all probably haze each other pretty pretty heavily. Yeah, they definitely well, go through the spanking machine, right? Her, right? You, like, you <laughs> insulted her, Lemmy? Yeah, I, I made fun of her right off the bat. I, like, uh, we, Kevin and I did a Zoom with her, and I was like, I got to give you hats off. Like, I can't believe how brave you are to, uh, you know, come to Hollywood and, and not even change your name from Palicky to something glamorous. Like, that's a dumb fucking name. <laughs> and she laughed and took it in stride. And then like, she was like, what about your stupid name? And I'm like, my name is a fucking conversation piece. Let me have the cereal. Let me uh, get the door for you. And, yeah, so, you know, we started jawing at each other. And, and then, and that's how we knew that she could hang with the, yeah. the with the rest of us. Yeah, that, that's a perfect way to make sure that she will be kind of like part of the group and not get, not frustrated, but you know, she will integrate very well. Well, you, you need, especially with, with actresses, you, you want a girl who can treat us like a bunch, like the goons that we are mm -hmm. and like give us as much shit. Cause we really are a bunch of goons, you know, we're college friends and we're like, like chimpanzees is a better way 
like you know monkeys like pulling silverware out of the and plates out of the cabinet that's <laughs> us like on the set George? yeah no, you want somebody who can hang adorable with curious yeah. georges we are adorable aren't we <laughs> that that sounds like the perfect plot for the next movie okay that's a good point we play maybe. monkeys yeah play, maybe like planet of the apes. apes is that like uh maybe yeah, yeah. broken yeah. lizards planet of the apes yeah there you go oh, i like for you i like it a lot of money all right there. Well, you can look for that movie sometime in the future. I'm sure it'll be very funny. It'll percolate for about 15 years and, and come out. But uh, <laughs> soon you can check out Quasi. It's coming to Hulu on April 20th, 2023. This is the Broken Lizard Crew. Thank you so much for your time. This was so much fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, man. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. meow. <laughs> That was the Broken Lizard crew talking about Quasi, which is coming to Hulu on April 20th, 2023. It is a very funny film. It is trademark Broken Lizard. If you like their stuff, you will like this film as well. So definitely check it out. And uh, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this interview, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. And make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Thank you. Yeah.